What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's jump right on in and start talking about this 2023 John Deere XUV 825MS4. Yes, I know that that is a mouthful. So let's go ahead and break that down a little bit. XUV, this is going to be crossover utility vehicle, which is what a Gator is going to be called. So that is what that's going to stand for. Your eight is going to be the size of the machine. So within the Gator lineup, you're going to have such things as the 800 series you're going to have the 500 series and then you're going to have your 600s and your work series machines as they go down in number here the smaller the machine gets so the eight is going to be the top of the line machine now your last two numbers here 25 that is going to indicate that this is a gas machine you could also have such things as a 35 which is also a gas and then you could have 55s or 65s which are both going to be diesels now next we're going to have m in the model number this is going to be the trim level indicator and within the 825 the m is the only one that you're going to get so some of the specs that you're going to get on this m machine is one you are going to get power steering which is going to be the main thing that would bump this up if there was an e trim level in the 825s now the s4 here at the end this is going to indicate that this is a four seater model now as of 2023 the 825 m s4 and the 855 m s4 are going to be the only two models that you can get in a four-seater the rest of them are all going to be three-seater models some other features on the 825 ms4 that you're going to get so normally standard on these machines you are going to get net doors but here we are going to have the option of the hard half doors on this machine so just know that that is an option that you can get on these we also are going to have the roof that is fully installed if we move to the front of the machine you are going to see that we have a front brush guard installed and we're also going to have the nicer rims and tires on this machine these are going to be the alloy rims with the predator all-terrain tires now let's talk a little bit about the cargo box now the cargo box is going to be the same one that you would see on your 835 series gators or your 865 series gators it is going to be that same box it's going to have that pickup style tailgate where you can easily let down the tailgate it is going to have those same dimensions it's going to be 52 inches wide by 45 inches long 12 inches deep it is going to come with that spray in bed liner and remember that these sides are going to be removable so that you can turn this machine into a flatbed if you need to now as far as the capacity goes on this cargo box you are going to have a thousand pound capacity that you can put in the rear of this machine now along with that you will have a towing capacity of 1500 pounds so also here at the rear of the machine you are going to have a two inch receiver hitch down here so if you want to put on that ball to be able to pull around a trailer maybe you want to put on that clevis style hitch to pull different attachments with this machines maybe such things as a spreader or maybe a sprayer whatever those things are you do have the ability to do that with that hitch now the other good thing about the 825 ms4 is like your other full-size crossover utility vehicles you are going to have fully independent suspension on our all four wheels so as you can see here you are going to have those separate suspension linkages from the left side to the right side all adding to the ride quality of this machine now one of my favorite parts about these s4 machines goes along with that storage in the rear and that's going to be the fact that you have additional storage here in the back seat so not only do you have this wide open space for your extra set of passengers but you can also flip this seat over to create a second storage bed basically to put whatever those things you may need maybe you're hauling little square bales of hay maybe it's just you and another person and you're hauling those ice chests or camping things whatever those things are that you need but then also we can flip up this side and we are going to have storage right here and another compartment there and then our battery over to the opposite side all right so now we'll go ahead and get on in the front seat and talk about our operator controls now first thing to point out before we actually get into the machine is that right here on the driver's side you are going to have your fuel fill right below that driver's seat this is going to be a 7.3 gallon tank so you should have enough fuel on board there to do whatever those things are that you need to do now with this being 
the 825M and not an R series, this is going to be a little more basic machine. So for one, you are just going to have a solid steering column here. You do not have any adjustability there. But whenever we're looking at the controls, we'll start over here to the left hand side. First thing that we're going to see is this raise and lower switch. So this is going to be for our bed. So if we go ahead and turn that key on, then what we can do is we can use this switch to raise and lower our bed there really easy with that one switch. Now, right below that, we are gonna have a pop out here. This is going to be for turn signals. So if you decide that you wanna add turn signals to this machine, you have that pop out right here, ready to go for that. Now to the right of the steering wheel, of course, we are gonna have our key switch here. To the right of that, we're gonna have our control panel. So the first switch we're gonna have is our four wheel drive engagement switch. Next to that, we are going to have our differential lock switch. And right here in the middle, we are going to have our light switch. And to the right of that, we have two other additional pop outs for whatever those extra things are that you need to add to this machine whether that be the addition of some extra lights or whatever those things may be that you need then to the right of that you are going to have a 12 volt outlet here so if you need to put those chargers on board you do have a space for that then you are going to have your electronic display up here up top this is going to show us such things as rpms over here to the left our speed here in the middle our fuel gauge and then also our engine temperature there you're also going to show right down in the middle what gear that you are are in now as you can see up here on the column there is no gear shift your gear shift is still going to be down to your right but one thing that you are going to eliminate or two things rather is you're going to eliminate the two other levers that used to be on these 825 models so now we only have this one lever here and that is because there is now a park position on this transmission so you are going to have park you're going to have reverse neutral high and low all done by this one lever right here now moving up in front of that you are going to have a couple different storage areas and two cup holders then over here to your right you are going to have this glove compartment this is normally where your operator manual is going to be and then you're also going to have this grab bar here along with one right up here on this corner post for that second rider so they have plenty of places here to make sure and hold on all right so now a little bit on the engine on this machine so what you are going to have is a john deere branded on top three cylinder engine this is actually going to be a cherry built engine just so that you know this is not an actual john deere design so this is going to be a 52 horsepower engine it is going to have a cvt belt driven transmission on it and it is going to be very easily serviceable as you can see right here we've got our three spark plug caps we have our oil fill right here. Over here to the left, you are going to have your dipstick right there. And then your oil filter is going to be tucked underneath, underneath that skid plate. But overall, with the bed being able to lift up like this, very easy open design. With the match of that 52 horsepower engine and that CVT transmission, you are gonna get a top speed of 45 mile an hour. And last but not least, let's talk a little bit about dimensions, price, and warranty. Now, as far as length goes on this machine, you are gonna be at 154 inches long. Width-wise, we're looking at 62 inches wide. Height-wise, at the tallest point, we are going to be at 75 inches tall. And then as far as ground clearance goes, you are going to have 11 inches of ground clearance now we already talked about you are going to have a cargo capacity of 1000 pounds and a towing capacity of 1500 pounds so just make sure to keep that in mind and then price wise on these machines this one here has a lot of added features to it such as the hard doors the hard top the front brush guard things of that nature so if you were to strip this machine completely down you are going to be around the twenty thousand six hundred dollar mark as a list price on deer.com so make Make sure that whenever you are looking into these machines that you are going to your local dealership seeing what they have in stock seeing what type of incentives you may qualify for seeing if there are any discounts you can qualify for and then also seeing what the finance options are if that is something that you're interested in you want to make sure and be talking to those dealerships to make sure that you can get the best deal possible out there for you now while you're in there talking about that remember that this machine is going to come with a one year 1000 hour whichever comes first warranty but you do have the option of adding additional warranty to this machine at that time of purchase. So if you were interested in having a little more coverage, a little more warranty on this machine, make sure to talk to your salesman about that as well. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. 
out. I hope that you liked this video, and if you did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, if you need any John Deere parts at all, make sure to go check us out at 247parts.com. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -bo. Hey, guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.